We are back inside of Minecraft Vault Hunters and just starting this video, you would actually seen a clip. That clip was me panicking to get the blank key, which we now have. I made it with like nine seconds remaining inside of the actual bounty table. I had to smelt up so many resources. I think I smelted up like 32 vault diamonds. I also smelted up a lot of our chest scrolls. And then just a load of other scrappy items that I don't think I'll use. At least I'm hoping I don't need them. But we smelted up so much. I don't exactly remember what. I know we smelted up a lot of platings. Also a lot of the cooked versions of the meat. Some of the external souls. I did also smell up some blank seals. I just smelled up a load because the actual key was like 6,800. And I wanted to get it because we have not found a single key piece in a while. And I think that was the only way we would get a key, at least anytime soon. But with that being said, we can now actually complete this quest. And we have actually got free or a free echo, a perfect echo gem, because we didn't actually use our echoes. So that's actually kind of good as well. The next quest is to actually open a treasure chest, which are obviously inside a treasure room. But the next thing we need to do with this is combine with a gem cluster in an anvil to create a treasure key. So let's actually quickly just get all of our vault gems. I believe they should already be in the chest. It looks to be a scallium, which we have the most of. The next one is a piece of night, which we do also have five, but we do also have 14 more escalium ore. So I think escalium is probably going to be the one we make it out of. Uh, do we have? We have nine Benio Titan, 13 of them. So yeah, I think Escalium is definitely the one we have the most of. So here is the Escalium cluster. Okay, it's eight with a perfect black opal in the center. So we should have some black opal. Uh, we do, we have six, so we just need four of them. And there we go. So now that can go in there with the Escalium around it. And that is now a Escalium cluster, which can then go in the anvil with the key. And that now gives us an Escalium key. I also added bronze, silver and gold. And I added the actual blessings right here. I put four of them because there are four different types. But as you can see, it is rotating through them. So I might have, I could remove two of these because I doubt we'll ever get all four within one vault. So what I've been doing off camera is I've actually made this fully functional. As you can see, the cobblestone, I haven't actually linked it up to the cobblestone generator just yet though. But the cobblestone is going through these actual chests. If I quickly just remove a pout so I can check. As you can see, the cobblestone is going into this right here. Which then goes to this crushing wheel. Which then crushes it into gravel. Goes along here. If this actual power is on, it will then go past and down and get crushed to sand. Which then goes along that conveyor belt. If this is off, it will then go into this actual storage drawer right here, which, as you can see, already has 6,000 in it. And what determines if this torch is on or off is this at the back here. We have a hopper going into this, and basically when this hopper has one piece of sand in, it will lock up and turn this whole system off which will then obviously start picking up the gravel. Now, I do also have this brass funnel right here, and basically what this brass funnel does, it basically burns the flint and also the clay. I will eventually have a collection system pick them up, but currently, I just want the sand, the gravel, and the cobblestone. This is basically now producing all of them. It's obviously very slow. We've got 3,000 gravel. We have 4,000 or 3,000 sand. We have 6,000 gravel. And cobblestone, we are running very low on because I haven't actually connected it up just yet. I have done some research on doors. It's been about a day, a day and a half since that last clip. And I haven't actually found anything that's promising that would tell us where doors would be inside a vault. I have also completed the crystal, which did actually require clay balls. Now, I was voiding the clay balls that was produced by this great farm. So I'm now collecting them. Also collecting flint. There's no reason for collecting the flint currently, but I thought why not just in case. And before, they were going to the end here and I was just burning them. I have actually just added some brass funnels on the side here. With filters on that basically tell them to only if I quickly just take this filter off. As you can see, this one is only accepting flint. And the that other one is exactly the same. Just this one has clay in it, but instead. 
So that is how we're collecting the clay. So we're now inside this farm collecting the cobblestone, gravel, sand, flint and clay. I have also connected the actual cobblestone farm up. As you can see, it breaks them all. They all fall down into this hopper line, which then goes to the dropper, which as you can see, just has a simple clock. Sending the items up into the hopper up here, and then they get obviously stored inside of this chest. Can we make it? We are missing the block of raw meat, which we can definitely craft. Let's quickly just make that. There we go. And then we can throw that. Where is the crystal? I'm guessing it's inside of not that one. It must be inside of that one then. Yes. And one piece of cobblestone that can come out of there. So another thing I do just want to do is do that because I think this one has priority then. So it should fill up this one first, then this one, and then this bottom one. So we now have the second crystal of the video. We're going to click that there. I do also want to put our good armor back on. So let's quickly just do that. There we go. Is our magnet still on? It is. Kind of lucky, but also not lucky. We need to find three zombie brains for our bounty. But also the actual scav requires us to find two zombie brains. So I guess that means we're kind of doing two with one. I have found a oh, epic or omega room. I'm not too sure what one's what. Uh, this is the ovenate one, I believe. Uh, I don't actually know. Uh, yeah, it is. It's the ovenate air omega room, I want to say. Which obviously just has a load of ovenate chests. Now, I think I don't actually want to loot this fully. I'm going to loot it until we have the actual... Why is nothing going in here? It's because I have that off. Okay. So where are all my scavenger items going? They're going to go in here then. Let's quickly just turn this off and just right click all of these out. So they will actually go into the scavenger pouch. So I can tell obviously what I have and what I don't. They should have all gone into there. They haven't gone in any of this. There's five right there. Uh, let's also quickly just turn that off and throw them on the floor. So there we go. I think that should now be sorted. So if I now put them back like that. So we need, we haven't got any jars. So I think I'm going to loot this until we have the jars. And then we'll leave this room. So we now have the three jars. And I don't think I'm going to loot this room anymore. I'm just going to do this one last actual room that we are in currently. And then I think we'll move on. And if we have time towards the end of the vault, then I'll come back into this room and loot it a lot more. I'm pretty sure we are now just missing the zombie brains. And also the ore pieces. I don't think I found a POI of either. I've just found a dungeon and it's a living dungeon. So I do want to loot it. But I did actually just accidentally roll a pair of leggings. I did not mean to do that. So that's something I did accidentally just do. I want to try and block it off. Let's also get rid of you real quick because you are going to do the poison effect. And I've done it one low so it shouldn't affect me. It should obviously damage them in there. So let's now quickly just get rid of you. It did also have some ores in it, which I, that's what I want. Finally, I got rid of the spawner. I don't believe there's any other spawners in here. If there is, then that's going to absolutely suck. But now let's quickly just loot the ores. There are ores in here. Let's also loot the actual chests. I'm going to leave him. He shouldn't affect me, I don't think, because it, obviously it's a small slime. Are there any other ores? There was only literally the one Larimar, I think. Which kind of sucks. There's also some more living chests up here, which we can quickly just mine. I don't think we got a single actual zombie brain. Let's get rid of the two with the actual... There's a treasure room door right there. I have just seen it behind the actual zombies. This isn't an Escalium one, though, is it? It's a pizza night. Oh, okay. So that means we can't actually open that one. It's a monolith, which isn't too bad. Hopefully, we can actually complete this. Home is east again. Let's wait for the vault to actually load in. Yeah, home is east. So, treasure room is my main focus. And also, one nullifying focus could be a good focus. I don't know what's happening. I keep getting, like, super speed for a split second, and then it goes again. Like, as you can see right there, my FOV keeps changing. I don't actually know what's happening. It's really off-putting me. So I don't, have, yeah, as you can see, it's like we're getting speed, but then the speed is going instantly and it's just changing our field of view. We haven't got any effects and there is also no modifiers on the crystal, so it can't be a bug with a modifier. I have actually just fixed it. All I've done is inside of the accessibility settings, if I quickly just show you, you go to accessibility, 
I've basically just turned off FOV effects, which does it so it basically just turns off any effect you get that changes your FOV. I am still getting the split second of speed every now and again, but it's not changing my field of view. I've just found a second door. This is Gordonite. Once again, we can't open that one, sadly, due to it not being a scallium. There is also a actual dungeon somewhere near here because I can hear the mobs. I'm guessing it's right here. What sort of dungeon is it? Let's also quickly just clear all of these. Okay, that was a bit more chaotic than I thought. It is a ornate actual dungeon, but there are two spawners inside of here. And we are going to die. I need to get out of this cobweb. Quickly, I need to get out of that cobweb. That was a close one. Yeah, we're not going to deal with that dungeon, I don't think. I just found the exact same dungeon in another room. That is really weird. Is it the exact same? Let's quickly just check. Let's quickly just get rid of you. I think it is the exact same because it seems to be in the same layout. Let's quickly just destroy that. It is the exact same. And as you can see, the chests are still there on the bottom floor that I looted in the other one. We just completed our bounty, which is pretty good. I'm pretty sure that's the focus one. So that is one bounty done. We're not obviously going to be able to complete the other one inside of this vault because it's not a scav. There's another door right here. It's Scallium. Okay, we've actually done it. And there we go. So we've actually got a treasure room. That's insane. And we actually have a lot of time to actually loot this. Now, treasure sand, I'm pretty sure, is a block you can break to get resources from. We'll do that in a second. Let's, uh, is that an observer underneath that? It's not. Let's open this first. Oh, wow. Okay. That is a lot of stuff. A free knowledge star. A free vault diamonds. A lot of actual jewels, which we'll loot when we actually get outside of the vault. Uh, what is that? Three mod boxes. Then got some catalysts, which we'll loot once again when we get out. Some dream stones. What is that? I've never seen that before. So we'll actually see what that is when we get out. And then some vault gear and an idol. And also a sour orange. Let's also throw all this on the floor so it gets picked up by the backpacks. So now let's actually loot the sand, which I'm pretty sure, yeah, as you can see, you actually get ores from. I think I just saw an echo gem go into our inventory, although it could have been a xenium. And there's one more treasure sand right there. Let's quickly just loot all this. And there we go. That was actual jewel. That's insane. So have we looted all this room? I think so. They don't seem to be. Can I take this chest with me? Can't break. Okay, I cannot. What is this room right here? This, I want to actually loot this room. Is this the gilded one or the ornate one? So what actual, this is gilded. Oh, wow. Okay, this is insane. So we're going to use this tool right here to break them because this does have our bonus rarity and all stuff like that on. Now we can actually see all the loot we got, which there was actually quite a decent amount of loot, if I have to guess. 11,000 XP, not too bad. How many gilded chests did we loot? 73. That is actually way more than I actually thought we looted. So now let's have a quick look. Oh my god, that is so many jewels. Let's quickly just grab a actual chest, because I don't want to confuse the treasure jewels. Actually, we might have to do that because I don't know what ones we got from the treasure room. Let's quickly just throw a double chest right there and throw all these jewels into there real quick. Now let's have a look at these. So first of all, this one, 14 mod boxes, 12 mystery and 17 relics, 24 vault diamonds. That's insane. One key piece. That is something that I think the game is teasing me with. We obviously brought the key. It seems like our storage system is also full because I can't put anything else into it. Okay, that means we're going to have to quickly just grab a chest to actually put the loot into. We haven't actually covered the actual stuff we got from the treasure room yet. That'll be inside of this purple pouch. Let's quickly just throw all this into there. And then some of this actual vault gear we might have got from the treasure room i'm not 100 percent sure though let's throw that into there with them let's also throw that into there as well because we are going to want to look at that as well then now uh that pouch is empty it's literally just this one so let's have a look at this we obviously got that from the treasure room 
We got an Echo. We got a Larimar. Uh, that is really good. The orange, I think, is also really good. Reduce, uh, removes 10% max health, adds 60 seconds to the Volt Timer. Before we do anything else, let's quickly just grab our actual bounty as well. Because that did have some resources in it that we could also use or roll. So now let's place that right there. And let's now roll all the Volt gear. Actually, no. While the Volt gear is rolling, we can also then... Let's also move these out of our hotbar. So let's actually do that and while all the gear is rolling we can then obviously roll all of these. So the relics, we got one relic I think I saw from that. I'd also actually want to quickly just place all of these pouches down just so nothing goes into them. As you can see our relic did right there. So we'll cover all the actual vault gear in a second. Let's also now go on the mod boxes. This is going to be really helpful for our colossal chest. So we got some colossal chest walls. We got a brass hand, frame drawer, storage upgrade 3, a Nixie tube, Britannia pot, colossal chest and framed compacting drawer. And finally the actual, okay, that is another echo. We got diamonds, Larimar and also an echo. How many Echo Gems do we actually own now then? Seven. Oh wow. There isn't really anything else in here we can roll. But that's actually 40 for 15. That's actually not too bad. 82 for size. That's really bad. 81 for mining speed. I don't actually think that's too bad if we can get the size lower. That's a not too bad of a jewel. That's an average jewel. We then have 33. I don't think that's bad. That is really bad. We then have living and trap disarm for 19. That's not bad. Uh, that's quite bad. Uh, hammer size. That's not insane. Uh, 79 for gilded and reach. Eh, it could be lower. So that is maybe one that we can make lower. We then have 57 for coin. Not insane. I think that's actually not too bad of a jewel if we can get the size lower. 23 for living. Uh, that removes all curses from a crystal. Okay, that is what I thought these were. We then got that's actually quite bad for wooden 10 uh, size for seven that's the best it can be uh 69 quite bad uh then three i've gone over it's literally just these that's not bad if we can actually get that a lower tier that's also not too bad if we can get it a lower size uh that's kind of rubbish and that's kind of rubbish and then everything else we've actually gone through i think that I actually that treasure room was quite really good Let's now also quickly just roll these vault leggings while we look at all this. So this is free Wendy Affinity, 800 durability and 22 mana. That's kind of good if we want mana, although I'm currently happy with rocking a shield. 10 armor with... that actually is better than our current one. This does have health as well, but our current one has item quantity, which I think I'm happy with. We then have 10 for 9 and 5. That's actually uh, worse than our current one. Sword, that's worse than our current one. Uh, 900, I think that's currently worse. Yeah, it is. And then our helmet, 12 armor, uh, that's worse. I like the prefixes and suffixes our current one has. And the final thing we can actually do within this video is claim our open a treasure chest that gives us a bounty or a lost bounty. Now this final thing is to acquire a artifact and that gives us an artifact fragment. We haven't got an artifact yet so that's just going to be something we it's luck I guess. It's not something we can like force happen. But we actually finally completed the treasure room and that was something we were trying to do for quite some time and I'm happy with it. We are obviously close-ish to getting another treasure room as soon as we can we will because I like going into the treasure rooms. Let's quickly just claim this lost bounty. You have to use it on a bounty board. How exactly do you do it? Do you just right click it on? You do, okay, and what is our lost bounty? Submit 35 crimson stem. 17,000 XP, oh wow, that is something I can do. Luckily, that is actually a really easy bounty because we have a Britannia pot here farming crimson stems. So let's right click that onto there and there we go. That has also given us quite a few items. So the next actual bounty is Gather Elixir, which I think we're going to re-roll that one. Uh, then it's Light Monoliths, which is a 
coin affinity and also another echo 4000 xp i think maybe we'll leave this one for now we won't activate it though so we actually have nothing in our inventory apart from that stuff up there so let's open this and look at what we actually got 11 gold not too bad uh 51 size for mining speed item rarity and axing that's not too bad we can maybe try and get that at a lower size we then have a velocity for a magnet i think that is we then have a wealthy modifier that's not too bad mana regen we also got a bit of lemon and then a volt sword which we can quickly just roll and the volt sword oh i think that actual volt sword no it's not better than our current one our current one is what uh 20 30 something this one is only 21 so sadly that isn't better but i'm happy with the progress we actually got in this video i guess our next goal now is to just try and get an artifact but that is where i'm gonna end that video we did also get to level 37 but anyway if you did enjoy this video do leave a like and subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one bye